All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my November 2020 update video for, you guessed it, November 2020. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, we're gonna go over some personal life stuff, as well as YouTube stuff. So, whew, breathing that good ass prana. And as always, let's just jump right into it. And this month, the YouTube stuff and the personal life stuff intermingle. So I'm not gonna have hard sections for YouTube stuff and personal life stuff. So let's just get into it, right? So let's talk about burnout, <laughs> more specifically my burnout. So time's recording, I took about two weeks off from doing YouTube, although I did cheat a little bit with uh, some live streams, but as far as making like regular scheduled pre-recorded content, I haven't made anything in the past two weeks or so. And the reason for that was I was just feeling overwhelmed by my work schedule. So it was really hard for me to balance youtube -y stuff with freelancing work, other work commitments, and school. Especially with school ramping up with uh, final projects and finals going to be coming due here in the next few weeks. So I have to divert most of my attention to that. Though it's just going to be too much for me, so I decided to just take a couple weeks off from doing YouTube to really think about what I want to do moving forward on YouTube. And not gonna lie, it was really hard for me to, uh, to take that break from YouTube because, you know, throughout these going on 15 years of me doing YouTube, I've never really taken like a solid break like that before. Like I've taken like maybe a week or so off. It was just really hard because like, I still had plenty of ideas for content and still had the, the desire to do it, but it was just getting to be too much for me stress-wise trying to maintain everything. You know, I thought long and hard about what I want to do moving forward on YouTube. And I got to thank you guys for all the comments, messages during that period. Um, it's really helped me think about what type of content I want to make moving forward. And uh, I'm really appreciative. Definitely makes the guy feel loved, <laughs> for sure. My best friend, Eric, also known as Ariopolis, twitch.tv slash Ariopolis. You guys are into uh, Fate Grand Order type content. He streams that from uh, Mercogen Land, so sure to give him a follow. Tell him the Andy Sound sent you. <laughs> um, but anyway, we were talking uh, for a couple days ago about some stuff. One of the things that came up was just the type of content I've been making for the past 15 years, and that was mostly revolving around the goings on in my personal life. You know, whether I was in the Navy, in Japan, in Japan while I'd be in the Navy, in Japan again while being not in the Navy, if you couldn't tell from the scruff. <laughs> um, but it all revolved around some aspect of my life. And that was fine for a while, but I think at this point in my life, my day-to-day -day life really isn't all that interesting, really. You know, I'm either here doing classes, or here doing uh, video work, or just here, you know? <laughs> Especially with old uh, Kelowna Chan World Tour still very much in effect. It's really put the kibosh on a lot of my initial plans with uh, making Japan content. So that leads me to what I want to do moving forward, which is focus a lot less on personal content. So for this channel, uh, this has always been like my personal channel slash miscellaneous channel. So basically just stuff that doesn't fit in with my other channels. I put it up here. So this was never really meant to be a, uh, a channel where I post that regular consistent quality content. Well, consistent content anyway. <laughs> but I digress. So I never really intended to, to grow this channel in the sense of like a normal YouTube channel. This is just meant to be a uh, creative repository. I'm not going to be posting quite as often to this channel as I was before, uh, especially with uh, final projects and everything coming due at the end of the semester. I'm not going to be posting that many videos for the next couple weeks. Um, once the semester's over, I'm going to be uh, posting more, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. So as far as this channel goes, uh, I still do want to post personal content, but like I said, not quite to the extent that I was before. And in doing this, I'm going to be phasing out uh, my monthly update videos. So I figured it was just uh, kind of getting in the way sometimes with uh, other types of content that I want to make because, you know, I look at the calendar, it's like, oh shit, it's a new month. I got to put out a new update video where I sit, where I talk for 20 minutes about nothing, you know? Because there, there are some months where not a whole lot going on or not a whole lot to really say about the type of content I want to make for that month because either I 
don't have any ideas that I'm working on by the time I make these videos, or you know, I'm already hot and heavy into some other ideas that I don't have time to make the video, or other commitments. It's just uh, one of those things I'm going to be phasing out. So I am going to be doing uh, my last monthly update video next month in December to round out the year. But after that, um, the vlogs are just going to be on like a case-by-case -case basis. And as for the Andy Japandi channel, that was another thing that was uh, discussed because again, with, with that channel, originally I wanted it to be a continuation of my original Andy Japandi series on this channel where I go to all these different locations in Japan, show them off, especially with uh, my awesome 4K camera and uh, with what I've learned in the past, you know, five some years since I was uh, stationed in Yokosuka. And with uh, old Kaluan Chan World Tour, definitely put the, the kibosh on that. So I switched from it being more of a travel channel to kind of talking about my experiences being abroad in Japan. But in making that sort of content, I kind of, kind of came across some things that I wasn't really too keen about. Somebody brought up the point of, you know, the problem with most of these J-vloggers is that their whole personality is being in Japan. And I felt like I was kind of leaning towards uh, that side of the spectrum after a while too. And I really started getting worried because I'm like, you know, I have other interests outside of just, I'm in Japan, look at all this Japan stuff. You know, look at the fucking wood paneling and all that stuff. Japan, right? And I wanted to, to talk about those, those things. But in the context of, of a J-vlog, it might not be all that interesting, you know, because people want to see all the, you know, the cool Japan stuff that, you know, really does well in the West, you know, like, oh, kooky vending machines, and oh, should be a crossing, and oh my gosh, wacky Japan, in it? Not that I'm opposed to doing those things. If you have seen the Mr. Peachy stuff, it's kind of a, uh, a satire on those types of videos. But I feel, I feel like, you know, at this point, it's, it's kind of played out. That leads me to the next piece of business, which is my Adam Media channel. Over the past few months, I've just been looking through my analytics just to see like what content has been doing the best, which gets the most views, most money, you know, which of my channels is overall doing the best. The leader in all that for the past, not even just past couple months, past couple years, if we're, if we're being real here, has been the Adam Media channel, formerly known as Edited by the Andy Son where I share video editing tutorials and stuff like that. And I've been really struggling with it because while I do like making video editing tutorial content, I feel like the type of content I was making, you know, it's really fast, short video editing tutorials. It's almost like too easy to make those. Cause really like the only editing I do is just cutting out the long pauses and the flub takes and all that sorts of stuff. And then adding some keyframes to like zoom in on critical material and well, there you go, there's a tutorial. And I wasn't really getting any creative fulfillment for making those videos. Now don't get me wrong, like I said, I do like making the videos and I am glad that they are enjoyed by a lot of people out there and they're helping educate people on how to use Premiere Pro and all that sorts of stuff, but they weren't really scratching that creative itch. So I got down to thinking about uh, different types of content that I want to put on that channel. You know, I was looking at uh, other channels that I watch regularly, like uh, Roberta Blake, Sarah Dietschy, and I wanted to make Adam Media more akin to, to those types of channels. So not really so much as like a make it big on YouTube type channel, because right now that channel isn't really at that category where I have the authority to say like, this is what you're gonna do when you make it big on YouTube. This is how to get your channel big on YouTube and be big time YouTuber. And you know, this is a real job, mom. <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff. But I can talk about different aspects of being a freelancer, different aspects of being a creative. The whole idea was to interview creatives with the Creator 101 podcast, which is why I merged it into that channel rather than having it be its own separate channel. And I also want to make different types of content that's geared more towards film production, stuff like that. So learning how to do like shot breakdowns. That was another interesting thing. So another channel I've been following is uh, Hilliard Smith. Um, he is the video editor for Logan Paul. So he's been making a lot of good like shot breakdowns for certain types of content. And I know other editors have done this. I mean, Justin Odisho is the first one that I thought of doing shot breakdowns, but he mostly just does it for uh, music videos. Whereas Hayden does it for uh, vlogs and other types of content. Just kind of show you what goes into 
a lot of these highly viewed vlogs and that it's more than just you know a wacky thumbnail and a catchy title and all this other stuff you know it's really interesting to see these uh, these deep dives and that's something else that you guys have been mentioning too is getting more into like the the nitty-gritty behind certain editing choices so I was thinking of making content kind of sort of like reacting to stuff that I've edited as well as breaking down shots from other youtubers just kind of showing different aspects that people don't really think about and just uh, really thinking deeply as uh, Eric Wen would say about uh, making content rather than just listening to the same old tired platitudes by a lot of these get big on YouTube channels like how do you get big on YouTube? You make that quality content. And you just keep making that quality content and that's all you do. And it's just that easy. And while there's nothing false about that, it just seems like it doesn't really tell the whole story or really give you anything actionable to do. It's just, you know, if you make a good product, then people will buy it. It's kind of that, that feel of dreams, you know, if you build it, they will come sort of thing. And that's it's not always the case. And then another little passion project I want to get into is doing video essays. I got a lot of good responses from my Truman Show video essay I did a couple months back. And I wanted to do more of that style of content with anime, but I didn't want to put it on my other channels because, you know, in the event that it would get copyright claimed, I didn't want it to affect my channel because uh, I've seen a lot of anti-tubers get their channels removed or like copyright struck to hell but with the Truman Show video it's just like ineligible for monetization but with anime they uh, they're pretty strict about uh, fair use and, and things like that so you have to be a little careful so I figured just in the event to uh, safeguard the rest of my channels uh, I'll just put that on its own separate channel so in case something happens it's just that channel and none of my other content gets affected so I decided to repurpose the old Creator 101 podcast channel into Andy Anime, which is going to be the home for my anime video essay content I'm going to be working on. Uh, but again, all these uh, different video ideas and everything, that's not really going to be worked on until after the semester because grades come first. Yeah, once the semester's over and I get a better idea of what's going on with me as far as visas, jobs, and all that kinds of stuff, then I'll be able to, to settle down and make that quality content. So yeah, that's uh, basically all I, want, all I wanted to say in this little update video. Uh, once again, there's going to be one more update video between now and then. And after that, I'm just going to be doing vlogs on a case-by-case -case basis for this channel. In addition to uh, other types of content as well. So, uh, with all that said guys, I just want to thank you for all the support you've given me during my little YouTube hiatus. I look forward to seeing you um, when I really come back to YouTube um, after the semester's over. So, well, that's it, guys. This is Andy San. Sign for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.